techniques of obtaining interference. The wave emitted from two independent light sources can never be coherent. Or to produce interference fringes, we need coherent light sources. The waves emitted from two independent light sources rapidly changes their phase and therefore they cannot be coherent. But if the two sources are derived from a single source, then the phase difference remains constant. That is, if the two sources are derived from a single source by some device, then any phase change occurring in one source is simultaneously accompanied by the other. And thereby, the phase difference between the waves emerging from the two sources remain constant and hence the sources are coherent. Interference fringes produce we need coherent sources. But light originated from two different sources cannot be coherent. And source originate in the light there will be rapid change in phase. So they cannot be coherent. Pakshay, if the two sources are derived from a single source, or a single source in a randite split to the turn of the coherent source originate in the angle, then that two sources produced from the single source will have constant phase difference. There are two methods to split a light wave one, wave front splitting. Here, a narrow light wave coming out of a slit is divided into two by passing it through slits. A narrow light wave is divided into two by passing it through two slits. The two parts of the same wave travel through different paths and reunite on the screen to produce interference pattern or fringe pattern. As used in Fronals by Prism and Young's double slit experiment. Wave front splitting and over in the method, Franz by Prism and over in the accident, you say in the Young's double slit and over in the accident, you say in the way. You would a narrow light wave in a dandy slit load a cut at the wood, dandy part tighter than a split tail. In under part I split a part of light, screen in chen reunite and it will produce interference fringes. And this method is called wave front splitting. And the second method is amplitude splitting. Here, the amplitude or the intensity of the light wave is divided into two parts. That means the amplitude of the light wave is divided into two parts. One is a reflected component and another is transmitted component. Then, the two parts travel through different paths and reunite to produce interference pattern or fringe pattern. It is used in Newton's rings and Michelson interferometer experiments. Here the light wave in the intensity and the amplitude on the split the light wave in the under part of the split the one is reflected component and another is transmitted component. In the Newton's ring and Michelson interferometer look at this method use in the here the two parts travel through different paths and reunite to produce the fringe pattern. In the split the pattern Random particle, different route, different path will travel. That reunite it will produce interference pattern or fringe pattern.